So have your pencil and paper ready, okay? And if you have questions, you can stop. Okay, great. Okay, so. Just give me one minute, I'll just. Okay, so as a first drawing today, we are going to draw a cloth, okay? So uh, once you draw a portrait, uh, there are a uh, uh, lot of folds you observe in a face. So uh, a good practice other than shading is to draw uh, the uh, cloth and the flow lines and other things, right? So I will just, before we start today's exercise, I will just briefly recap what we did in the last class. So our first exercise was to practice the lines freely across the page. So uh, we we took a we took a pencil and held it uh, held it from a little bit behind, and we were able to draw lines across the page uh, in single flow. So that was the first practice. Second one was to draw the vert uh, vertical lines. Okay. Uh, then we discussed about the different value scales. So this was another important practice which I requested everyone to practice. So from going from the darkest shade, you release the pencil pressure and then you create the lighter shades onto the paper. And you can create different value scales. And then we discussed about uh, different shape, uh, shading the different shapes. So we created some circles, we created a lot of you know, freehand circles. I also requested to do some infinite loops so that you can, your pencil flow becomes easier, okay? So I hope you have practiced this. These are some things which you can continue to practice, okay? So today, so uh, there were some exercises. I will also uh, share the photographs in our group. Also, uh, the video link is available for you to practice, okay? So the next step is a very small, uh, diagram which we are going to do today so to begin with draw the th uh, three lines first line like this okay you can draw along with me then a second line you can drop somewhere at a diagonal something like this it need not be straight we're drawing a piece of cloth. Then next up, you can drop another straight line like this. And finally, you can create a fourth line like this. I yeah, we have to draw this. Yes. I yeah, we don't know how to shade. I'll teach you. Okay. Okay, so once you are done with the four lines, then just connect this with a small curve. Okay, next up, you can create a small curve like this. Uh, yeah, please wait. Sure, Shambhavi. Okay, and next up, we are going to do something like this. 
and connect this. Okay. And finally, you can bring a line from behind and connect this. Okay. Others, are you able to follow? Oh, yeah, please see. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah please see. Yeah, yeah. I will uh, take. I will take the drawing views uh, in the WhatsApp group, uh, Shambhavi and Pragalbha. Yeah. So. Because there are other people who are also trying to follow, right? So I'll take the questions in the WhatsApp group directly. Yeah. Okay. Others are able to follow. Uh, Samarth, you are able to follow, right? Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So uh, by now you should have something like this. Even if it is not looking exactly like this, it is okay. Okay. So now Shambhavi's question, how to shade? Okay. So the uh, first thing is, uh, I'm using a pencil which is sharpened from one side, right? So uh, try to uh, hold the pencil like this. Okay, hold the pencil like this instead of holding like this. Even if it is difficult for you to hold the pencil like this, then you can uh, hold like this also. I'm okay with it, but don't uh, shade from the tip. Okay, don't shade from the tip. Try to shade from the sides of the pencil. Okay, so we are going to uh, de develop the lightest shade values first. Okay, so on this first I'm going to just go across. So you just see how my pencil is moving and how lightly I'm trying to shade the piece of cloth. Okay, so just shade this completely within a very light shade till top. Uh, yeah, we have to only shade this part. Yes, first this. You follow along with me, okay? Okay, then next, uh, you can move to the next part. Just go in a very light shade. I will mute. I will mute others. Okay, so that people are okay. I'll copy. Okay, great. So uh, we can move to the next part. You can leave a little white space here in between, okay, and then shade the rest of the parts. So the cloth is actually folding like this, okay. And then I have moved to the third part. Okay, please notice uh, there is another line coming here because the cloth is folding, right? So there's, there's this small line which I have just drawn which was not there before. So you can draw this one first. Aya, please wait now. <laughs> Don't worry, Shambhava. There will be a video also available. Okay. So in case you are missing something, I can guide you. Not a problem. Okay. Because we have to take care of face of everyone, right? So if we go slow, then uh, we'll not be able to cover much because we have only one class in the week. Yeah. Okay. So connect it like this and then 
so right now what we have done is we have painted the whole thing as a flat drawing okay so we have uh, made the whole thing as a flat structure with similar value scale so we don't have dark values and light values and other things right so now if you see i mean i drew this line little dark but ideally our first lines which are there they should be very light so the, i think the one which is there on this edge is a good one but here the line is very dark so what happens is once you do this kind of dry, drawing it starts looking superficial okay so for the first outlines should be very light so you do do something like this which is not even visible do something like this okay and then this okay so next up we are going to add the darker values so since the cloth is folding from here there will be a darker shade which will be following behind the cloth okay so you will have a darker shade falling here just little dark little bit dark not too dark okay and the edge so once you're done drawing a darker shade here just let me know let give me a thumbs up once you're done drawing a darker shade here done okay i'll just wait for others also Summer, you're falling, right? Great. Martina, ma, everything fine on your side? Yeah, great. Celia, you're fine? Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, so I hope you are done till here. Now, uh, just notice that wherever uh, the cloth turns right that ed edge will be dark because that is where the light will stop uh, you know falling on the cloth so this particular edge just the edge you make it maximum dark okay just a very dark line here and from here on you create kind of a gradient so just smudge it along with the rest of the cloth okay Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, Shambhavi. Yeah. Yes. I will. I will take. Uh, you know, after I finish my session, I will take time to see everyone drawing and give feedback. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Please, please. yeah, it's going good. It's going good. <laughs> okay. Next up, uh, you create another dark shade behind this other fold. Okay. So just create a dark shape along the fold lines, slightly dark, not very dark. Okay. The maximum darkness we are going to end towards the end. Okay. And also here. Okay, so uh, try to get this shadow's color uh, or value same as the other one. So this shadow has a particular value, right? So now what we are going to do is, next we are going to add a very dark line on this edge where the cloth is folding the way we did for the first one, right? And then we are going to gradually create a gradient. Okay. 
So you can create this maximum doc. Okay, don't worry if it is not looking exactly like this. The however it is looking, it's you are there in your journey. Okay, so we will eventually improve. The more we practice drawing, the more we improve, right? So okay, and next up again we are going to create a very dark line here because the cloth is again folding and light is stopping to fall here and like create a light shade here. On the back side of it. Okay, uh, next, uh, again, we are going to come on this particular edge, the, the first one, first edge. Okay. I mean, you can just try to smudge this sh uh, sh light shade, which we had created earlier and have a slightly darker values, slightly darker values here. I'm not sure if they are visible on the camera, but slightly darker values here, okay? And then you go all the way down till here. Let it smudge. Okay, next up, we are going to create a very small edge here uh, on the right side of the right edge of the cloth. We are creating a small fold here also. Okay, so just create a small line like this and then touch join it anywhere you like, somewhere here, something like this. That portion of cloth will receive the light. Okay, and then finally, this below this fold, there going there is going to be maximum darkness. So you shade something like this, and then create some dark shadows here. Okay, so you can hold the pencil whichever way you are comfortable. So for this particular thing, I am holding it a little bit near because I want more precision here. Okay. So here, if you want, you can shade something like this also. Yeah. Let me know once you are done till here. Great. I can see a thumbs up from Shambhavi, Gauri and Pragya. Samarth has also done. Okay. Great. Everyone has done. Perfect. So finally, we are going to add one dark tone here. Okay, because this is also a piece of fold and maybe some very light shade here, something like this. Okay, here 
one more thing is here you can uh, shade along the direction of the cloth okay so that it gives a feeling of flow to the cloth Okay, so now I'm going to teach a small trick. Okay, uh, so basically uh, we have done all the dark portions on the cloth, right? So we have dark here, we have dark here, we have dark here. But what happens is uh, the real 3D effect of any drawing, even when you are drawing a face, uh, the real 3D effect comes uh, because of the darkness and the light. Okay, so the light shades are also equally important, right? So say uh, light is following on the cloth from this direction, okay? From this direction, the light is falling on the cloth, okay? So wherever the cloth is folding, okay? Ideally, this edges also should be very light, but because it may not be visible in camera, I have drawn them uh, darker, okay? But I will lighten them up a bit now, okay? So uh, for to do, add the lights, we can use the eraser. So if you see the eraser has two sides. On one side, you will have a little uh, rounded shape from where you erase. Okay, other side will be sharp. Okay, uh, and if you use the eraser from both the sides, then I think uh, you will have uh, the bold thing, uh, you know, on both the sides. Also, uh, these days in market, there are eraser pencils available. Okay, so you have pencils which erase. So now uh, you can try to have uh, these kind of pencils if you get it nearby. If not, then you can use this side of the eraser. Okay, this side of the eraser to erase like this. Okay, also there are some lead based pencils available. Something like this. It's called a Tombow Mono Eraser. So if you see on, uh, on this edge, you have an eraser available. So you can use these also to create lights. Okay. So now I'm just going to use my basic eraser and erase one little portion of the cloth here. Okay. Very little one. Just one fine streak of light falling over. Okay. Same way, I'm, I'm using a different eraser to erase this particular top portion of the cloth. Okay, and same way I'm going to create, first let me shade it a little homogeneously, this side. Okay, and I'm going to uh, add a very light shade on this particular fold. Okay. And I'm also going to lighten these because I don't want them this dark. So I'm just lighting them up now. Ideally, to begin with, you should uh, draw the initial sketch all only very light, okay? So that you don't have to erase the edges later. Yeah. Yes, ma. Yeah, we will do all drawings of shading. Yes. As a first step, we have to become good with shading, okay? So now we'll take a quick round of view. So if you want to show me your drawings, you can quickly show and I can give a feedback. Uh, yeah, please see. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll go from the bottom. Uh, yeah. Maya, Nanda, yes, Ma. Uh, uh, Ma, you can add more uh, lighter values. Ma, uh, Nitya, Amrita, right? You can add more lighter values on uh, the, uh, on either side of the edge, so it will give a little more 3D. Yeah, please see. Uh, yes, Shambhavi. Is this done by Shambhavi or? Uh, uh, yeah, it, is it done by Gauri? Gauri. I am Shambhavi, and this is here is my drawing. Okay, great. So I'll and give. Ma, uh, yeah, and Pragya's drawing. Okay, great. So uh, I'll. Can I see one by one? 
Yeah. Okay. I saw all the three ones. Sa Shambhavi, Pragya, and Gauri, you send me the drawings in WhatsApp also. I'll uh, talk to uh, uh, I'll talk to Delhi team to say, uh, share those drawings in WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, one comment. Just don't draw very dark in first go. Okay. First, start with very light shade. So uh, what I can see uh, in was your drawings is uh, so basically you have gone something like this, right? Very dark on the edges. So once you do something like this then it gives a very, uh, you know, it becomes very difficult to give a lighter shade, okay? So instead of going like this, you start very lightly, okay? Because once you start lightly, you can always add dark shades on top of it. But once you start very dark, you cannot add light values on top of it, right? Okay, if anyone else want to show their uh, drawing, I can give feedback or else we can continue. Yeah, this ma, great ma. You can, um, um, uh, I can see the value on the uh, the leftmost side is little uh, different. So you can add some lighter shade on this portion of the drawing. Yeah, some more gray is shady on this portion. Or maybe it may be camera also. Sometimes the, because of the camera, the shades are not visible. So that's why I say a photo on WhatsApp group is good, good enough. Okay. Great. So we'll move to the next drawing. Yeah. Okay. It's already 30 minutes. So next up, we are going to do the first facial feature today, which is an eye. We are going to draw an eye today. Okay. So we'll do a simple one. Okay. Um, you can approach the eye in many ways. Uh, I'll teach you two ways today. Uh, one, I will just do the sketching. Second one, I will directly do the eye. Okay. So for any drawing, it is good to have some construction lines for, a, uh, for the basic shape. So say if you are seeing the eye, you can create a line like this. Okay. You can just watch right now. There's no need to follow me on this. I'm just explaining what the construction lines are. And Mashadarupa, if you need to uh, translate, you let me know. Okay. So you can create a line like this. And then you can create a flat line like this. And then you can create another line like this. Okay. And then for the bottom portion, you can create a line, something like this. And then this. And you can turn it back. Okay. So this is a very big yeah, uh, for this, uh, you don't need to follow uh, this one. This is just a theory I'm uh, telling you how you can approach any shape. Okay. Yeah, okay. So for this one, you can draw something like this. And then for the eyebrow, you can have uh, one line here and one line here. Okay, something like this. And you can use these as a construction line. So these are called construction lines even for face so if you want to draw a very round face right so it may not happen that you draw everything uh, you know round and in proper position in one shot so for face also what you can do is you can try to see okay where the face is looking if the face is looking down you can create a block line here you can create a line here line here line here and you know try to kind of get the angles correct first okay and then get the overall drawing Okay, so these are called as construction lines and using the construction lines, you can create the drawing on top of it. Okay, so say if I want to create an eye here, I can use these guidelines because now I know my shapes are proper. Okay, and then I can create an eye around it, right? So this is one way. This is one way of doing things. But if you want... I have to draw this. No, you don't have to. So now what I'm going to do, you, that this one you please draw along with. Okay. So uh, this these are the construction lines. Okay. Now this one you please draw along. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a very uh, simple small eye. Okay. So first draw something like this. A small curve. Okay. Again, I am drawing dark, but you please draw very light because... Uh, I want this to be visible in camera. I'm drawing dark, dark, but you please draw it light. Okay. So draw a small curve, then draw a 
bigger curve and for these kind of things you remember we practice the flow lines if you practice the flow lines you will be able to draw these curves easily otherwise sometimes the hand shakes and you know you, the drawing will come something like this and not proper and all that so uh, for that you practice flow lines more and more okay so next step is like this i'll wait for one minute for everyone to draw okay then next up you can create a small curve parallel to the first one okay and then you can create another curve here and join it to the first curve i hope it is visible the below one i'll raise so that you are not confused okay draw a small one only don't draw too big because then you'll have to shade okay then uh next step is you can assume that there is a circle inside the eye okay so our eyeballs are a little bit on visible and little bit behind the eyelids right so you can uh, draw something like this some circle small circle which is crossing the eyelid but this you don't dark, draw darkly okay so uh, if you see here i have drawn something very Ayla, light can you please do it little darker we can not see in the screen yeah, yeah i am deliberately doing it lighter because i don't want them to be uh, you know visible in the drawing okay so only this portion has to be darker the other portion has to be lighter malala how is it for others you are able to view you are able to see right okay great uh, mashadarupa it's fine for you others also right yeah okay great okay so let it cross a bit not a problem okay uh, because this area is anyhow unwanted okay and then from here you create a parallel line something like this okay from the uh, top edge you create a parallel line something like this yeah next up uh, sure sure okay so next up uh, we are going to add a line here okay uh, small light very light line here you see the distance of it okay so it should be somewhat parallel to this lid and uh, you draw it somewhere till this this point so where your circle is ending so you just draw it somewhere some till here okay a slant line need not be exactly same but draw i mean try to get it as same as similar as possible yeah okay and then you can take it little bit down slightly down not too much so for any drawing uh, this base sketch is very important so even when you are drawing the portraits you will need to have the base sketch ready and the base sketch has to be 
as same as similar to the reference image which you are looking at right so it has the more accurate you become with the base sketch the more good your drawings will become okay shading will eventually come uh, with time but the more time you spend in practicing the flow lines and getting your uh, lines and curves correctly the more your drawing is going to look good okay next up you please create a small circle inside something like this Yeah. Okay. So uh, then just add a small white space here. Okay. Just uh, if, you, if you can see, just add another white space here. So whenever we draw the eye, there's a, there's a light falling. Okay. Onto the eye. And that light gives a highlight in between the pupil. Okay, you can change the shape also a bit if you want. Yes. 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 Okay, next up, uh, we will create, uh, we'll create the light shades in the pupil first. Okay, so we are be beginning the shading. Now, I think there is a light coming from awkward angle, but I'll try to keep the notebook something like this. Okay, so you begin very lightly shading the insides of the eye. Okay, very lightly. And uh, uh, leave some space here, okay? Leave some small white space here and then do the shading for rest of the portion. Very light shading, something like this. So there is a small space left here and then rest of the portion of the eye is shaded. You can go, you can go uh, with linear strokes. So you can make small, small lines here, okay? Because in the pupil we have a, line and try to switch on the other light so that it is clear yeah i think it's a little better okay then uh, just around this uh, inside pupil just create light shades very light shades in the inside pupil it can be slightly darker than the outside but not too dark at this point Yeah. Okay. So next Can up. You please wait. Sure. I'll wait for one more minute and then I'll continue.
Chat. Okay, so next up, you can make the outer boundary just one edge of the eye little dark. Okay, you can make it little dark, only the one edge. Don't go on all the sides at this point in time. Okay, and the below the eyelid. Okay, so since there is a eyelid here, there will be a shadow of falling here. Okay, so you can make this whole thing as dark. So again, please note, there is no one way of drawing the eye. This is just one type of eye which we are trying to draw. Okay, so there's no like one fixed way in which the eye should be drawn. So every reference, when you uh, see the image, you need to take a decision on where the light is falling and where the shadow is coming. Okay, so again, now since once you have done this very dark, you can see the pupil has become a little lighter. Okay. So now you can go ahead and make the pupil also dark. Okay, but please make sure that the, you don't cross the white area because the highlight is what makes the eye pop. Okay, and then uh, you can start making little gradients here. Okay, don't go too dark, but from this edge, whatever edge we have done, drawn, draw small gradients. Okay, there has to be a distinction between your uh, the eye pupil and the eye. Okay, so just draw a little dark, but not as dark as the central one. Okay, and then you can go dark here. Okay, and then next up you can make this edge also a little dark. The other side, the right side, top. Make it little dark. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Next, below this line, right? We have a line below the below the lower eyelid. Just draw a parallel line, a small parallel line till here. Okay, you can you can draw completely till here. Is it visible, or should I go a little dark? I'll go a little dark. Okay, next up, uh, you make this edge very dark. Okay, so this edge, the top edge, because it is the eyelid where the light is folding, you can make it dark. Same you can do with the other top lid. Uh, 
Aya, what will we draw next? We will see in next class because I think we have 10 minutes. So maybe we'll draw some nose and lips and ears. Yeah. Okay, we have to be fast a little bit. Sir, Aya, we will not draw Swamiji. We will draw Swamiji in next of the class after next. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, great. So uh, the next is we are going to do the eyelashes. Okay, so for eyelashes, uh, you make uh, strokes like this. You know, it's it's mostly like a wave. Okay, so I am just drawing it slowly so that you can see. But if you do something like fast in this fashion, then you will. If you practice this stroke, then you will be able to do eyelashes good. So it should like come from here, curve down and then go up. Something like a check mark, but not like a ticket. So it should curve, right? Something like this. Okay. So now we are going to do the eyelashes. So here you can start from here and start curving this. Okay. Okay, and then you can go up. So here you don't make big ones, okay? So you make small ones here. You can even cross some, some, and some you can make it cross the top lid. So eyelashes are not always of equal size. Okay, and these are also not mandatory. So eyelashes in some people, they are very uh, visible and some people they are not. Okay, but the important thing is you draw something like in a curvy fashion. Okay, and same way on the bottom side. On the bottom side, uh, don't directly start with the edge. You start from the other line which we have drawn. Okay, so you start something like this because the bottom lid is a little bit curved on the outside. Okay. I'm not sure if the darkness is visible completely, but... Aya, what is this? Aya, that is V, uh, the V up from the eye. This one? This one? No, Aya, the top one. This one is eyebrow. No, Aya, this one. Here, where, where, where? Can no, I show you? Aya, oh, up, up. This one? Uh, no, up. Up, this one? Yes, Aya. This is eyebrow line. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So draw something like this. Okay. I I mean it's bl getting blurred in the camera, but if I uh, I think try to take it closer, it will be like clear lines are there. I'm not sure if it is visible in the camera. Okay, I'll click a photo of this and then send it with you because I guess it is not very clear. Okay. Aya, you will send the video how to draw this? Yes. It will be uploaded in the YouTube. Okay. So draw some, uh, uh, I mean, distanced eyelashes in the bottom okay and next we'll quickly do the eyebrows so for eyebrows uh, always follow the direction of the hairs okay so maybe you can just do something like this strokes like this like small small lines in the direction of the hairs okay the clearer the lines the more nicer the eyebrow will look because these are hairs right so they have to be very thin so if you want you can sharpen your pencil and make the strokes with a very sharp pencil. Okay. 
So on this side of it, the hair start turning. So here the stroke direction also should change or after the edge, we should start putting here something like this in the down, downward direction. You can put some some across hairs also, like not everything is straight. So here you can put some across strokes. Again, I think it is getting blurred because of the camera, but these are like clear lines. Okay, I'll send a photograph to make it more evident. Yeah, please see. I will see. Just give me uh, one minute. I will let me finish and then I will see. Yeah. Okay. So this is done and one final thing, we are going to shade it around the eyes because the eyes, this portion is not always flat, right? So this is a white portion which is not always flat. So you can draw a curve like this. Uh, you can see a very light curve, something like this. So this is the area where the light falls, okay? So around this, we will do the shading. So I'm just creating random shading here. Okay, some light shadings here. Some very light shade here. So this one will have lighter values because this side of the eye is getting the light, okay? So have lighter shades here. Okay, and then around this you can have, below this you can have some shading going around the eye, something like this. Okay, eyes are the most important part of the portrait as per me because they define uh, the character of the portrait, okay? And Swamiji's eyes are like so deep, <laughs> so I think Ma Vidyamai has done a very good uh, video on Swamiji's eyes in colored pencil yesterday. So you can refer those sketches to see how to make Swamiji's eyes. Okay, I'll also send some reference photos here. So you can make this area a little dark. Okay, and then with the final thing, uh, inside the eyeball, you uh, you know use this area should not always be white okay so this eyeball areas are also not 100% white so we will give some small light shades along the curve of this okay so something like this so we'll give some very light shade along the curve so below the eyelid will give some shade here and here and here little bit on the edges okay so that it doesn't look shallow and then on the tear drop you, again, you can give some shading because this area is having some dark zones. Okay, and then between the eyelids, you can make little dark here on the on the beginning and the end. And finally, you can create the edges little dark. Okay, to make it pop out. Something like this. Okay, I hope you were able to follow it. Uh, if it was a little fast, I will also share the video of this. Uh, I think we have we are done with the time. Okay, can you will can we take two more minutes to just see how everyone is doing and if they, you have any questions? And then we can close. Yeah, yeah, of course. Sure. Uh, so, can you? Uh, yeah, now you can show me Gauri, Pragya. I yeah. see my drawing. Yes, I can see. It's, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, only thing is, the value should be little gradual, okay? And the circle of the eye 
if you try to make it little more round it will look good okay uh, so it's it's good it's good anyone else yes ma amrutamaya nanda yes ma i cannot see can you yeah, go on just one minute ma amrutamaya can you put it little down yeah i cannot see yes now i can see okay great uh, ma what you can do is below the eyelids you can go a little more darker okay uh, below the eyelids you can go a little more darker in this area okay and then have a gradual shade here so this will be dark okay and then you will this will this will come like a gradient okay something like this so it will come like a gradient because you see there is a eyelid here right so there is a shadow dark shadow falling there so it will give it more of a 3d effect but it's good ma okay yes ma la la yes i can see yours uh yes ma great i think uh, same for you also ma i think uh, below the eyelid we can go a little dark and the eyelashes uh you can practice some more so because eyelashes are right now coming little bit uh you know or rugged curve you can practice this stroke more so if you practice this then eyelashes thing will come little bit okay yeah na uh, martina ma yes ma great ma uh yeah looks good only thing is uh on the top i think we have created a shadow here right for this we have created a line so this one um uh, the lines just one minute ma so uh, ma martina for this line i mean you don't need to create a very dark line okay so uh, for example if i want to create a shade here right i will create a very light line here and then around this i will smudge it with the surrounding okay so that i don't see clear lines because once you see a face you don't see very uh, clear lines right around this so this rest of uh, rest of the thing is looking good ma yeah great uh, yes Pragya and Shamavi wanted to show Shamavi's. Yes. Yeah, please see my. One by one. Yeah, I saw yours. It was good. I gave the feedback also. My. Ah, uh, yeah. This is Pragya's. Yeah, Pragya, very nice. And this okay. is mine. Yeah, Pragya, right. And this is Gauri's. Yeah. So first, I will give Pragya's feedback. Okay. Pragya, don't go very dark on the uh, these areas. Okay. So you can try to go very light first. Okay. and then and then you can create these uh, then add the darker tones okay because if you make full thing as dark it looks like a flat uh, structure okay and uh, gauri uh, also like don't like create clearly defined lines okay so um, smudge the surroundings with the smudge the shade with the surroundings so that you are able to uh you know create high highlights and shadows and also like highlights are also not like 100% white so it gradually decreases so more and more once you observe some black and white photos now these things will come so but um, uh, good great i mean uh, everyone has uh, at least attempted and uh, the uh, the photos are looking good so you can send me the photos on the whatsapp group okay and uh, what i will do is i will yes samarth if you want to show me the camera is on yeah uh, yeah great i can see yes uh, samarth you need to little bit work with the flow lines okay so uh, you just watched the first youtube video uh, maybe uh, you can practice something like this these kind of curves more uh, more floral designs so what it will do is it will help you smoothen the curves and uh, second what you can do is you can also use these kind of guidelines okay so instead of drawing the curves directly you can use guidelines like this to guide your curves of the eye so that will make it more smooth and uh, i think shading also uh, i mean uh, the uh, you need to create gradients like light areas here and dark areas here right okay? so are you there in the whatsapp group samant ma there is a whatsapp group so if you can uh, share the uh, you are on mute ma we cannot hear you yes what you can do is uh, you can send me uh, on the in the chat uh, privately and i will add you uh, to the whatsapp group sure i think there is a question from our martina which pencil strength i use ma i used 8b for all my drawings okay 8b Uh, you can use anything actually 6b 4b also uh, i think uh, to get the maximum darkness i prefer 8b 10b those kind of pencils because it, it it helps in getting maximum darkness 
ओके ना मा आई थिंक योर माइक इज स्टिल म्यूट बट इन चैट यू कैन पुट योर नंबर मा सो वी कैन एड यू या श्योर Okay, ma'am. Yeah, is Pragya correct now? Yes, yes, it's fine. I'll call you, uh, Shamavi, uh, uh, once Pragya and Gauri once. Huh? I'll call you once to give more feedback and also add you to the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So we'll end with the Purna Mantra. And please send me the photos. I will uh, send some more reference pictures of eyes during the week. also you know what i'll try to create a because i wanted to cover nose and lips also uh, i will try to create a small video and share it with you or i'll share some existing video which is there on youtube uh, you practice those things okay make sure you draw daily okay for drawing it is very important that at least you take out 5 or 10 minutes to draw something daily uh, you can you know just uh, uh, gaze at swami ji's photo and try to draw uh, swami ji don't worry about perfection at this point in time okay don't think like it's not looking exactly the same and other things because we are taking the beginning steps we are just learning the basics so please uh, don't uh, you know uh, uh, don't try to be perfect just practice daily that's important uh, the next class is on saturday same time Okay, so we'll end with the Purna Mantra. Okay. Om Purna Mada Purna Medam Purna Purna Mada Chate Purna Se Purna Mada Ya Purna Meva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Sat Guru Padukar Panamastu Om. Nandam, everyone. Thanks for joining. Nandam, yeah. Yeah, we need to click a photo. Just one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One picture, yes. One picture, please. Sorry. So, everyone, you're ready for the picture. Samarth, can you switch on the camera, please? One, two, three. Swami Ji. Swami Ji. Yes, great. Great, ma'am. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you so Maya. much, Aya. Let me, let, again, another one because now we have Samarth. Another one. Yeah, yeah, one more. Yes. He was not there. Okay, one, two, three, Swami Ji. Swami Ji. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nityanandam. Thank you, Nityanandam. Thank you, Nityanandam, everybody. <laughs>